Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to look at a topic known as indents and I'm going to seek to zoom into the various types of indents that are used in Microsoft Word. As you can see by the picture that I have up here that all the arrows are pointing to these icons or these things right here and all of these are the various types of indents. We have the upside down triangle known as the first line indent marker. We have a normal um, triangle. We call that the hanging indent marker. And we have a rectangle at the base. All right. And this is known as the left indent marker. And we have a similar triangle to the right that is not depicted here known as the right indent marker. For the rest of the video, I'm going to explain what each of these markers are all about all right so first i want to explain to you what is an indent an indent is a specified number of spaces in inches between the margin stops and text indents are used to set boundaries or margins for text without altering the paid setup margins they indicate where text should start and end these points are marked by a down pointing triangle, an up pointing triangle, and a rectangle. All of the visuals for these I just explained to you before we came here. Now we are going to look at the various types of indents. Now there are four kinds of indents used in word processing, namely the left indent. Now this is set as default at the left margin and is used to determine the left margin of the entire text. Here I have a diagram of how the text is aligned on a document using the left indent. All right, next we're going to look at the first line indent. Now this is used to determine the space between the left margin and the first line. To set this indent, the icon must be selected and dragged across to the right to the required amount of spaces. Here I have a diagram showing you just that. So the top icon here, that is a diagram of the first line indent. And you realize that the first line of the text, thank you so much, is indented and it is set, the marker is set at 0 0.5 inches. So the first line is indented at 0 0.5 inches and that is the main aim of the first line indent to indent the first line of text next we're going to look at the hanging indent now this is used to determine the space between the left margin and the second and subsequent lines of text note that the first line is excluded thus the term hanging indent so the first line of text is excluded because that is taken care of by the first line in that marker. But if it is that I wanted not the first line, I don't want to trouble the first line, but I want all the text following, so the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. lines to be indented, then I will use the hugging indent to do so. Now to set this indent, you select either the hanging indent or left indent marker and drag it across to the right to the required amount of spaces. And I have a notation that the hanging indent and the left indent markers move simultaneously. All right. So here I have a diagram and this basically is a citation, a bibliography, right? And the first line of text stands resolute in the left margin, but the other rows or the other lines of text they are indented and if you realize so the first line indent marker is the one at the top and the one below it these are two is here the rectangle at the bottom is the left indent marker and the triangle above it is the hanging indent but they move together all right so anyone you click on both will move at the same time so you click on that and you drag it across to where you want it to be but if the first line should be in the margin, you need to ensure that the first line indent is where you want that to be. And the final one that we're going to look at is one that is known as the right indent. 
Now, this is used to determine the right margin, right? And so here you have a little picture of it, but I'm going to show you a better visual when we go over to Microsoft Word and I do a simple demonstration to further explain these points. All right, so here we are in Microsoft Word, giving you a better view of all that I was speaking about prior. Now, here we are, the ruler bar is here, both indent markers, well, three of them. So we have the first line indent, below it we have the hanging indent, and below that we have the rectangle, which represents the left indent. To the right of the ruler bar, I have an upward facing triangle, and that is the right indent. All right, now, these are very important tools to use. So I have your first line indent. So firstly, so the, currently the text is left is aligned to the left margin, and that is a job of the left indent. Also, the right margin is here. No more text can hold. So when, once the text can't hold in a row, it goes to the next line. So both left and right indents are currently working. They're in place and the margins are set using the left and the right indent. Then I'm going to show you, or the only other thing to show you is the first line indent and the hanging indent. All right. Um, so I'm going to highlight this text here and I want the first line to be indented. So I'm going to select the first line indent and I'm going to drag that over to 0 0.5 inches. And there you have it. So the first line of text is indented by 0 0.5 inches. Next, we're going to look at the hanging indent. So this is my paragraph. And I, let me copy this. I'm going to use it for something else. Control V for paste. All right, so this is my hanging indent. I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to select. The left indent marker along with the hanging indent and I take it over to 0 0.5 because that's where I want it to start. But I'm going to take back over the first line indent to the margin where it is supposed to be. And there you have it. That's how I do the hanging indent. All right. So now I copied this paragraph for a reason. I did a video some time ago on enumeration and inset now i wanted to further seeing that i'm looking at the indent markers in that video i noted that inset can be done from the left margin right 0 0.5 inches from the left margin 0 point inches from the right margin or it can be done from both left and right margin all right so i highlighted this paragraph just to show you the three things i just mentioned a while ago so say, for example, I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be inserting this text right here. All right. So from the left margin, I'm going to take over everything to 0 0.5 inches. And that's how I would insert something from the left margin. Let me undo that. If it is that I was asked to insert the, the document or insert this text, from the right margin, then I will take it in at 0 0.5 inches. And it will be there. All right? It doesn't look even up, but that's okay. It's at 0 0.5 inches. Obviously, because the margin is over this side and this is not out to the margin. All right? And another thing, if we were asked to insert this document from both left and right margins, how we go about doing that so currently my right margin I have it inserted right here so I'll just do the left margin at 0 0.5 inches and that is it my document I have placed it in inset from both left and right margin all right so that's me showing you how to do a quick inset left margin, right margin, and both left and right margin. I do hope that this video, you found it very interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please invite other persons to join the channel, right? And if it is that you have any topic that you'd like me to do a video on, 
for you to get a better understanding. Please feel free to share that in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in my next upload.